Hi, I'm Frans de Toy. Um, yeah, this video is about the homemade lock skit that I made. As you can see here behind me, there's a couple of uh, blue gum tree eucalyptus, eucalyptus trees that still needs to be cut. Uh, as you can see, there's some of the wires that's broken because one tree, I must judge myself with how it fell. Anyway, um, so it's just to see what happens with a, a, a DIY lock skit that I that I made at home. Um, so just to see how much it helps with um, pulling out locks out of the cutting site out of the forest. Um, and I'm quite pleased with how it went. Okay, so watch this video and see how I did it. Um, and then at the end of the video, I will say I will give my remarks on how well it went, what I did wrong, how I can improve it, and so on. Okay, in this w video, I'm going to show you how I'm building myself uh, a lock skit. So I'm going to hook this lock skit behind my my truck and to skid logs out of the, the cutting site where I felt and harvested the trees. So let me quickly show you what I'm going to use. Um, I just took scrap pieces of metal that was laying around on my in my around my workshop um, and around my my property. So I just grabbed these. So here I have some they call it here in South Africa lip channel. I have no idea what it's, the international name is, American name. Yeah, I've got some square tubing. I've got some angle iron. Another piece of lip channel. And over here, I've got some old gas canisters. These are metal canisters. So from these pieces of scrap, I'm going to build myself a DIY um, log skit. The purpose of this lock skit is just to lift the locks off the ground so that I can pull them with, with little resistance over the ground um, and also to prevent unnecessary dirt getting trapped in the locks. So later on when I cut it, the locks into planks, I don't have to sharpen my blades all the time because of all the sand and dirt that is trapped in the lock. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video for a bit and ah, let me quickly show you what i'm going to do so with these angle irons i made a 45 degree angle with my square my square and 45 degree square i have no idea what you call this thing okay so i'm going to cut it out on bo both sides then I'm going to take my hammer and I'm going to bend this piece up. So, and after that, as you can see, I already marked it out. Where is that mark now? There you can see, yeah, there you can see the mark. And then I'm going to weld these, um, this little square tubing on there as well. I'll show you just now in a in a moment. Okay, so now I made these cuts into my piece of lip channel to bend it at the 45 de uh, degree angle. Um, and I also removed some of the primer and the paint that were on these old pieces of metal so that I have a nice good contact to, to weld it um, okay so in the next next phase next step I'm going to turn this into a for going to bend this piece of metal over um, and I'll come back when I've done that oh yeah I removed the paint and the excess rust and so on with this sandpaper disc in South Africa they call it the flap disc. I have no idea what they call it in other parts of the world. And then I also cut it with a normal cutting disc um, on my on my grinder. Okay, so now I've bent it. 
As you can see, I closed the gap now so that it forms a 45 degree angle. One thing that I didn't anticipate was the way that, as you can see, this angle, uh, this piece of lip over here is crooked. It's not, doesn't look the same. So I didn't anticipate that when I cut it on two different angles as you can see on that one it's, it's exactly the same um, anyway so that's just something that I didn't think about when I cut it okay so now I'm ready to start welding it together and also just as an extra bit of protection and extra bit of strength I'm going to weld a piece of flat bar over here as well so to make this angle a little bit stronger I also didn't anticipate that that gap would be that big. Anyway, I'll fill it up with, uh, I'll weld it together and fill it up as, as best I can. But also I'm just going to add this piece of flat bar over the side to give it, give it a little bit of added strength. Okay, so this is the finished lock skit um, that I made. I do apologize, I got carried away in the assembly face so let me just bring it a little bit more into the sun so that we can have a better look okay as you can see i bent it to 45 degree i reinforced it with the flat bar then i added the square tubing and welded it together added a little bit of angle iron here at the back welded it together as well just to support it now i think i won't win the competition of the best welder in town but i hope this thing is solid enough to carry the locks that i want to get skid out of the forest okay okay in the previous video i made um the a lock skid out of lip channel square tubing and angle iron and this time I took a little bit of other pieces of junk lying around here in my in my around my workshop and so on and I took these two old um, aircon gas bottles and it attached this piece of round this pipe um, on top of it so as you can see I welded two pieces of angle iron onto the gas bottle and then I welded the pipe onto the gas uh, onto the angle iron so I have no idea how it's going to work so I'll quickly tidy up here and then I'm out into the forest to see how it works when I pull a couple of locks with my truck Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> it ain't gonna work! Okay, so here is a lock that I pulled out without the skids. And as you can see, there is some grass and dirt trapped in, in the bark of, of this lock. Um, so 
as I said, the, the skits worked very well to, the, to prevent the, it from trapping dirt in, in sight. The other thing that I, that I um, um, experienced while I dragged this particular log out of the cutting site, as you can see over there is the cutting site. When I dra drag it out of the cutting site, is that um, it was a, a very bumpy ride. So it every time it got stuck on the, on a on a rock or on a piece of grass, um, the it, it it made a jerking movement, um, which wasn't smooth. So the log skids, um, and this this log is small in comparison to the logs that I pulled out. So the lock skit help tremendously to, um, to, 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 to assist in the smooth, um, pulling it out smoothly. So there's no, not a lot of jerking um, onto the tow bar and onto the, the chassis of, of, of the vehicle. Okay, so now you've seen the, the lock skits in action as well and how I pulled the, um, the locks out of this cutting site. The lip channel uh, skit worked very well. I'm quite impressed with, with that one. Um, the, only, the only downside of it is that it is too narrow. The, skit, the two pieces of lip channel are too close to each other. So it happened once, but only once, that while I was taking a turn, the um, lock turned over, fell over, and it fell off of the skit. Um, so it was tight onto the lock with the with the cargo straps, but we still had to pick the lock up again, um, put it upright again onto the onto the skid. Um, the, and the gas canister didn't work work as well as I anticipated. So in this one clip, you saw that it was twisting, and you heard my wife and says it's not going to work. But eventually, um, in a later clip, you saw that we put in a, a thick branch into the handles of the of the canisters, and that um, kept it from turning or twisting all the all the way. So that kept the canisters kind of like in place. So what I'll do is I'll just weld on another pipe or another piece of angle iron or another piece of metal onto those canisters to to keep it stable while I'm pulling it with with my truck. The only downside with this um, thing, this um, this lock skits that I built, is that I either have to dig a hole or lift the lift the um, the lock up to to put the skits underneath it. Um, so that's the only downside. But on the plus side, it worked extremely well. It's removed all the friction. Um, there's so little dirt that was trapped inside the locks so it worked very well so thank you for watching um, and please do with this video what you do with videos that you like so like it subscribe to my channel um, share it on social media um, and spread the word thank you for watching see you in the next video